I actually stand by the fact that's the best way to grow your network in a real, organic, authentic way. George the Tech. Well, we're starting a new series here, and we're talking to the amazing partners that we have formed in our voiceover industries over the years. And we've featured many of them right on our website in our trusted partners area. And our very first profile video here to kick it off is with Tracy Lindley of the VO Edge. How you doing? Hey, I'm good, George. Good to be here. LinkedIn is the cornerstone, I think, of what you're doing, but you're a respected expert in the use of LinkedIn and also other ways to build voice actors' businesses, right? So is that really the beginning of where everything started for you in terms of offerings of a service provider? I never set out to be a service provider. I just know that after I presented at a conference um, at Fafcon in 2016, when I was that was my third year in voiceover. After I presented about LinkedIn marketing there, I got bombarded with requests of how do I optimize my LinkedIn profile and all this stuff. And for a while I was helping people for free. I just couldn't do that anymore because I had little people. I've got four children at the time. I just couldn't do it. So I created an on-demand course that people could go through at their own pace. And I continue to update that because information gets aged out, the platform changes. So basically I'm constantly updating the course. When people buy a membership to it, it allows them access for life. And I launched it in 2017, still going strong. I think it's wonderful that you're updating the course, right? So with my, the way I release content, we pretty much put out these videos and they're in a time mm -hmm. and everything in it's valid of the time of that product or whatever. But the fact that you're keeping it fresh and keeping up the updates is huge. It's a lot of work. And so sometimes the updates will lag, just to be honest. I've accidentally discovered that my method is, it really is the pinnacle of how I achieved a six-figure income in 2018. I think that would be the end of my fifth year in business because I started in 2014. Five years in is pretty good. It's excellent. I, I was very happy and it just continued to go up even though... I'm trying to raise four kids and I also live in a flyover state. I don't live on the coasts. So I felt like I had all these obstacles stacked against me, but I wasn't going to let it bring me down. I was like, I'll just find my own path. And so part of what I do also is motivate people because I represent the everyday woman, right? I'm just over here raising my kids on my four acres of land in Missouri and trying to help other people, normal everyday people achieve their dreams. As the program grew, it's just continuing to have a life of itself. And this year, it feels like you're really ramping things up. So what are you doing this year differently? I just revealed that I'm going to be creating a mini course based on LinkedIn content posting. Because right now, the course that I have focuses on more behind the scenes work, direct mm -hmm. messaging, searching and connecting, and then communicating through direct messages. I actually stand by the fact that's the best way to grow your network in a real, organic, authentic way. But I also see the place where it is beneficial to get your content out there because you can organically attract new followers through expanding your network, the use of hashtags, content, etc. It is a beast to feed, but if you're willing to take on the challenge, I want to be the guide for that. So that's what I'm planning to do. That's not released yet because I haven't created it yet, but that's my big idea. And it's a bit audacious to throw it out there without actually doing it yet. But that... well, well, now you're accountable. Exactly. That's why. <laughs> once, once you talk about it in public now, yeah, you're really accountable. Right. So on top of all of that, you've also added another role to your plate. Or yes. as I like to say, you're spinning another plate. <laughs> you remember the plate spinners? Yes. I yes. love the analogy of spinning plates. You got another one spinning. So what's the new plate you're spinning? I just became the director of education at NAVA, the National <laughs> Association of Voice Actors. Yeah, just a director. It sounds like a big position, but really it's already a well-oiled machine. At only two years in, Karin and Tim have an amazing run far ahead of its time organization. And I don't know how they achieved it. I'm only coming in into a successful organization. I'm not coming in into the chaos and fires that there had to have been. Yeah. They have an amazing organization that they have given their blood, sweat and tears to. And so 
I'm honored to be part of this. And something that I'm very passionate about is education. That's one of the things that I tell people is that even before I had a good space that I could even set up a home studio, Mm -hmm. I was researching for nine months before I recorded my first demo. Mm -hmm. I was watching you. I was watching other experts in the industry to learn all about all the aspects. All of our colleagues and pals in this business. Yes. There's so much and there's really great free information out there. Mm-hmm. But if people join Nava, they've got access to all of the classes and the replays and everything for the cost of a membership, which is cheap. I think it's under 15 bucks a month. So for that amount of money, it's a social advocacy organization, and we focus on education, making changes in Congress, legislative efforts. I mean, I'm enamored with NAVA. I, That's I'm, wonderful. Love what they're doing. I'm glad you stepped into what, it's a title, but a, somewhat of a fully formed role. People like you just come to us and say, hey, I'd like to teach a class. And we're like, great. And then we can invite the community. There's a, a minimum, don't give what you can sort of mentality. So then people who aren't able or don't want to commit to join the organization, they can still come to your class for a very small fee and get great information. And we're very careful about the vetting process. We're not just going to let anybody off the street come teach a class. So when people are asking me who are the coaches that you should look at, if they've coached for NAVA, they're vetted. Yeah, that's true. If anybody's teaching a class with us, then they're a good person. They're ethical, they're believable, they're an expert. They actually will give good advice and and good training. It's lovely to hear that. And let's wrap it up by you telling us what you're offering to our people. The VO Edge is a LinkedIn marketing course. It's about two hours of content. I'm really picky about tightly editing each video because I don't want to waste anyone's time. I know you're into that too. I try to think, how would I want to learn? So it's a combination of video, screen sharing, uh, downloadable PDFs, different Mm. tools, suggestions. I do make some referrals to other people. It's the course that I took all of my knowledge and experience and put it in one place. It's the course that you would have wanted and wish that you had had seven years ago. But I had to be the one to create it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) No one else was doing it. But I'm just the one that connected the dots. I have a three-step method. It still works. It's a classic way and it's timeless. It is pretty timeless. I think that's one of the huge strong points of LinkedIn, that it hasn't changed in any dramatic way. And that's what makes me feel like it's a professional's tool. Mm-hmm. Things for consumers are like, we got to refresh everything or people are going to get bored. It's like gross stores where they rearrange everything. So you, no, yeah. you know what you're going to look get when you go to LinkedIn, you know where to find it. And that feels professional. And that's why you should be there and learn. From I agree. Tracy. And LinkedIn is not concerned about being the new hotness. They are into being the OGs. They have a stable uh, owner. They are. And they may have heard of Microsoft. <laughs> uh, yeah. And LinkedIn honestly does not care about being the new cool hip thing. They do right. what works and they're right. classic and they're stable. Some features have come and gone. They used yeah. to do a form of stories. They took that away. It sure. didn't fly. People were like, more content? No, thank you. <laughs> yes. And it's one of the few places where you basically have a, a mini website right there on your social media platform. It does have some limitations to the characters, but a lot mm-hmm. more. You can mm-hmm. basically write a one page who am I? What do I offer? Here's my experience. Let me show you what I can do. And it's a fantastic place to network. You can meet really awesome people. I am personally connected with video producers at some different companies that are Mm -hmm. high up. Mm -hmm. And you can actually get right into the direct messages of people who accept your connection request. Yeah, you're dealing with corporate people, the corporate people that do the hiring. You better be charging fair rates, which is why I refer people to the GVA right guide. Great. Excellent. I do know that you're offering something to us as well to help people sign up and give us a lovely little discount for anybody that clicks through our website. So actually, I'm going to sign up. (laughs) I'm going to give you a free membership, George. If you really want to look at it, you can have it for free. Damn straight, I do. (laughs) We, We will do a knowledge exchange. Anything in my videos, library, yours. You got yourself a deal. Knowledge exchange. I love that. Unlocked. Unlocked.